In today's video, we're going to be talking about how to calculate predicted probabilities from a multinomial regression. Well, let's jump in. So first off, we need to start with the actual logistic regression, and this is just when we have a binary target variable. So that is, an event either occurs or doesn't occur, and we use the log odds, or the low chit. So that is the log of the probability divided by 1 minus the probability is uh, what you're setting your linear predictor equal to in this case. Um, so multinomial regression is just when you up the ante to more than two events. So I have here, you know, you have event A, B, and C. So there's three possible outcomes. And the way you can model this is essentially by just having two separate models where we're just building a logistic regression, right? So before we had pi divided by 1 minus pi, uh, but that's the same as just labeling not pi as event B. Um, so really it's just a difference of labeling here where when all we do is consider A events and B events, uh, this is just a logistic regression. And then we uh, repeat that process, but where we keep the A events, but instead of B, we look at C. And with these two separate regressions, what we say is we have the reference class of A. And that's because we're going to build these logistic regressions or, the, or fit these parameters with respect to that one class. That's what we're going to build everything in reference to. Um, looking into my textbook, the reference class goes in the denominator. Um, I'm, I'm sure there is a reason, but I can't think of one why you couldn't have that inverted, why the reference class couldn't be the numerator. So long as you're consistent, I think it would work. Uh, but that being said, it appears reference class is in the denominator. So I think that's just something you need to have memorized to do this problem. Um, but I'm getting ahead of myself. So next what we do is then we can solve for the predicted probability of B and C with respect to A. Uh, and the, again, that's why it's the reference class. And once we have this, along with the final missing piece, which is the sum of all our probabilities, we want to equal 1. So you'll notice here we're building these different models. And really, those the, the logit is uh, we would interpret that as predicted probabilities when the only possible events we're considering are those two classes. When in reality, what we want is a predicted probability of A or B or C, those three different possible outcomes. And the way we can get from these two model outputs uh, to a final predicted probability is by considering that the sum of all the probabilities need to equal one. And then we can use a system of equations to then solve for each of them. Because what we're going to get from these two equations is relativities to our reference class. So we're going to get something like we have our model. So e to the linear predictor. It's going to result in a number. And then we can say our predicted probability for b is some factor relative to the pre predicted probability of a. And then once we have that for all the different classes, so here we only have three, but this could be for as many different uh, values of your target variable you have of that categorical variable. Um, everything's going to be in reference to that one class. So finally we can go to our calculations. So to start off we're using B and we have this negative 535. So going back up to the question, there's a lot of extra information here. Um, subject size doesn't matter for the problem. Uh, all these different category values for your x variable doesn't actually matter. All that matters is for a given set circumstances of our x, you know, there's one observation, whatever the x values are, what are all the different uh, log odds for our, our different classes? So here we're saying for h group 18 to 30, but it, we, we don't really care about that. The log odds for preference of candidate B to candidate A, our reference class, is negative 0.535. And then we will get to C shortly. So what we have here uh, is the log odds of B relative to A is equal to negative 535. 
we then exponentiate both sides and then multiply both sides by the probability of a to get to this point and then likewise we do the same thing for c so uh, this is the value we have for the log odds of c relative to a uh, exponentiate both sides and we get another equation here and then the final step is just to say uh, we know that b is 58 percent of a and we know that c is 22 percent of a and then finally we know that a b and c all those probabilities need to sum to one and so uh, we can just sub in what we prepped such that we get everything in terms of the probability of a and that is 0 0.552 now if we were to go back to the problem it would say we want to calculate the modeled probability of someone from age group 18 to 30 preferring candidate B. And so all we need to do is refer back to what we saw previously here. So we know that the probability for B is 0.58 of the probability of A. So we just need to multiply our probability of A by that factor. And that's how we get our final solution of 0.3233. And scrolling up, we see that falls in the range of B. So that's our final answer. As always, thanks for watching. Have a good one.